This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am absolutely thrilled to be speaking with Mr. Daniel Valdez, also known as CMPT, the brainchild of this incredible political organizer and activist. Hello, Daniel, how are you? Hi, how's it going? Nice to meet you, Will. Daniel, so nice to meet you. You are in Philly, but you used to live literally right around the block from me. I want to deep dive first and foremost you laid this little Easter egg for me that I have to ask about. You were a child actor. Talk to me about that. And what would we have all seen you in? Um, you wouldn't have seen me. You would have heard me, which Ooh. is kind of similar to the music stuff. It's like, I prefer people just hear it. But, uh, but I was a voice actor. And so I did Nickelodeon stuff, Scholastic stuff. And I was in the show called Wonder Pets, like for a few episodes. And that was like... Uh, one of the most fun experiences. That was like the first one that I did, uh, you know, when I was like 11 or 12. And I met a lot of little creatives around that time that really inspired me. I love it. And talk to me a little bit about how CMPT came about for you. CMPT was uh, basically uh, some form of music that I had been pursuing since I was about uh, 13. I started like making sounds with instruments since I was like as early as two, like uh, found home video evidence of this. I mean, I remembered the stories my mom would tell me, but there was like a video of me like learning to play the piano. Which, long story short, I had been making music and then at 13, I released an album and it was under a different project name. And as and one then, does at 13, you know. <laughs> and, yeah I got it removed from most places just because of how bad it was but oh like, please I'm sure it is incredible but as time went on as time went on I had more um freedom to kind of like experiment with my music especially like moving in like alone and not having to worry about like my family being around and people judging and stuff I just started making music every day and then I started releasing it under this name that was originally Backyard Camp Out and then I wanted to simplify it to Camp Out and then I simplified it to just letters CMPT. <laughs> I love it well listen you're an incredible artist Daniel I love that you use you know your activism through your skill set as a musician and um i think it's incredible something we need now more than ever don't you agree yeah i do i think artists like uh i don't know if you know system of a down i don't but that doesn't mean anything no worries <laughs> they're, yeah they're just they're a really insane metal band but they like and one of my first favorite artists surprisingly when i was like nine i remember seeing their music video for byob on mtv when i was a mm. kid and I was like my jaw dropped my music is nothing like theirs, but they inc are incredible influences on me because of their uh, political uh, songs, the political themes of their songs. Um, I did a cover of one of my favorites of theirs called Hypnotize way back towards the beginning of the whole uh, COVID uh, outbreak because I thought it was really appropriate. And um, I, I, I so I, I, that's the biggest goal is to be able to communicate uh, you know, a message uh, for uh, uh, the greater good as far as um, political progressivism, you know, while, while not like at this, while still being like an escape for people. And then like also communicating fun uh, character-based ideas like in my music too and telling stories, uh, whether they're personal to me or stories that kind of touched me. I love that because I love the fact that you are using it as a platform to get a strong message across, but you're not like giving a TED talk, right? You're you're allowing people to take it for what it is. And maybe whether they're on the left, the right, the center, the blue, the red, that people can still get a universal message out of it. I think that's really, that's really, I mean, I think that that's what makes you a great artist, right? You're not, you're not, you're not alienating anyone. I hope not. I hope I hope all that I can touch on is empowerment. I hope that, like you know, this is not to say that I'm there yet, right? Like I've got so much more I want to do, but empowerment is the like that's that's the word I want to focus on, right? A north star for you, my friend. Well, listen, I could speak with you all day. I'm so excited you're coming on board this amazing new social media app, Phoenix 360, and I'm excited for you to also just be able to get into the app and talk with other artists because. Again, I think you have an openness about you that you really truly understand that 
what you specifically are creating isn't just for people here in the West. This is something that people need to hear all over the world now more probably than ever. Yes, 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 yes. And I hope so. I mean, it's so hard to like get, I mean, it, it, it's never been easier to get out like an, a national and international or even community-based message like and build like that kind of community. But it's never been like harder to like people well, are increasingly like divided it's hard for me to like get out and like make friends in the industry so like apps like this are really important it's a safe space right it's a safe space yeah. as a collective where people are already coming on board with a common goal to connect yeah. to collaborate and you know make some money along the way whether it's selling their merch their songs nfts at all yes it's the uh it's the empowerment it's the empowerment I was talking about. Well, thank you, Mr. Daniel Valdez. It is so nice to meet you. And again, I'm so grateful that we are now connected. Great to see you, Will. It's nice to meet you.